Dear friends, we surely all agree. There's almost nothing worse to see than some repulsive little bum who's always chewing chewing gum. So please believe me when I say that chewing gum will never pay. The sickly habit's bound to send the chewer to a sticky end. Did any of you ever know a man named Henry Bigelow? This dreadful person saw no wrong in chewing, chewing all day long. He chewed while bathing in the tub. He chewed while dancing at the club. He chewed in church and on the bus. It really was quite ludicrous. For years and years he chewed away, consuming 50 packs a day. Until one summer's eve at last, a horrid business came to pass. Mr. Bigelow went late to bed. For half an hour he lay and read, chewing, chewing all the while like some great clockwork crocodile. Until at last his jaws decide to pause and open extra wide. And with the most tremendous chew, the poor man bit his tongue in two.
This is my hermit crab, Herman. He is a wild-caught crab from a beach shop in New Hampshire, purchased on June 19th, 2021. I didn't know much about hermit crabs when I first bought him, or her, but learned a lot over time. The beach shops don't tell you about the harsh conditions these crabs go through, like being forced out of their shells into toxic painted shells, or being taken from their beautiful tropical environment and stuffed into burlap sacks. These purple pincher hermit crabs require a balanced diet, plenty of room to walk around, fresh and salt water pools, things to climb, deep sand to dig, warmth, and humidity. Climbing is one of Herman's favorite things to do. He will climb anything and everything, even the tank walls. With climbing comes falling. Herman can be very clumsy sometimes, and most hermit crabs are. In the wild, they will sometimes fall right out of the trees instead of climbing back down. As I mentioned before, hermit crabs require a saltwater pool and a freshwater pool. The salt water is for bathing and the fresh water is for drinking. You want to make sure that the pools are deep enough for your hermit crab to fully submerge itself. Hermit crab's diet is important to ensure a healthy crab. In this clip, Herman is eating dried apples. He also enjoys popcorn, peanut butter, olive oil, and freeze-dried shrimp. Hermit crabs also need multiple shells to choose from. A shell is like their own personal home that protects their soft bottoms. I have learned a lot over time about hermit crabs. Herman is now in a larger tank. He has much better living conditions than he did before.
the neighborhood was really like an extended family. And there was, oh, you probably know what Bluehill Avenue if you're from the Boston area. But Bluehill Avenue is a very, very long avenue that runs the whole length of, of the neighborhood and, and other neighborhoods. I speak from personal experience on this. Um, I went through it. I tried to sell my house. I tried to sell my house for over two years before I succeeded. And when I did succeed, I sold it for a little more than half of what I had been offered not too long before the black families moved into the neighborhood. And, uh, it was very colorful. It was, as I think about it now, it was like growing up in a foreign, in, in a foreign city because it would close down for Shabbos. <laughs> it would open for Saturday night with lights and stores open. And um, there, was, there was a very, very strong flavor to it, of foreignness, actually. Yes, just as I had said, there are three bedrooms. I adore Negroes. You'll be the first ones. At this time, there is a black community living in this area, but there also are about 70,000 Jews and Irish and others. It's a racially mixed area. In fact, Blue Hill Avenue was the center of Boston's Jewish community. By 1971, that is 10 years after, there only are about 1,500 Jews left in this area, as Roxbury, Mattapan, and North Dorchester have become overwhelmingly African American. That is, in the interest of creating opportunities for black home ownership, the Boston Bank's Urban Renewal Group had in effect created a ghetto. Oh, look at my You know, there's a Labor Day parade that they hold on Blue Hill Avenue here. And every year for the Labor Day, there's shooting that goes on. Even this year, Labor Day, I didn't see it, but I heard that someone got killed. When you got a community like Mattapan or like Dorchester, okay, 90% black, spatoon by 90% whites. It's a huge problem. Because those jobs belong to the people of the community. You know? And you go to the white community, you don't find no black policemen patrolling a white community. So that's you no know, justice. You know? The next time you find yourself puzzling over exactly where the boundaries lie, just remember that all of it was once called Mattapan, a word the Native American tribes defined as a good place to be.
Fonzo. Fonzo. Alfonso? Alfonso! What's up? Are you almost here? No, I, I I need your help. You know how to get here. No, it's it's Alfonso. What? <laughs> He's not here. I don't know where he is. Oh wow. I don't know. He was he was here when I left for work. Are you still coming? Like, I don't know what to do. Did you come over here? Sure, I'll be there in ten. Thank you. Oh my god. Sure. Alfonso! 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 I don't think the toy's working. It's his favorite. He always comes running for it. He isn't now. Alfonso! 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 I got a ton of shoes. He's got to be out here somewhere. Yeah. Might have gone out by those power lines. Maybe. How long do you plan on staying out here? Until we find Alfonso. It's gonna get dark soon. It's gonna be freezing. Yeah, that's why we have to find him. But don't you think if it gets that cold, he's gonna want to go home? No, we have to find him. But if we freeze to death, we'll never find him. It's probably so cold. My God, I, I can't believe that this happened. I don't know what happened. Did you see anything at the house? No, no, the doors were closed. They were locked, right? I don't remember. I... I guess I could have left them unlocked, but, like... He wouldn't have opened the door. I still left one open. I don't know. I, I don't know what else could have happened. 
did you check the doors when you got back to the house? Yeah, I, I, I think. I, just, I got home, I looked around, he wasn't there, and I, I called you. I, just, I, don't, I don't know what else could have happened. He probably didn't leave the door open. That doesn't sound right. I don't think somebody came in and took him, right? No, I didn't say that. Maybe someone did. Maybe somebody came in and took him. What, what makes you think that? Well, what else could it be? He didn't open the door himself. No, but I just think that's a big jump. He probably slipped out when you were leaving. It just doesn't make any sense. What about the windows? He's getting distracted. It's getting late. He, he could be anywhere. Gotta keep looking. Alright. Alfonso! 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 Bonzo! 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 Harry, it's getting dark. We have flashlights. We're not getting anywhere with this. You're exhausted. Nope. It's fine. I'm fine. He's got to be around here somewhere. At least sit for a minute. I'm fine. You need a break. Come on. Look at it. He... It's chocolate. But but what if? Terry, it's a bar of chocolate in the woods. You're jumping to conclusions. We need to stop. Put that down. Okay, listen. We're exhausted and we need a break. And it's Taco Tuesday. He's out here. We can come back out later, okay? We need, we need to go back. Is there a, a, a bathroom here? Same place it always is.
Ben! Aren't you hungry? Not really. I don't feel good. Is there something with the food? No, no, I... I really think I should go. I, I have to keep looking. You're not gonna find your dog. You need to eat. No, it's fine. I, I just really need to... It's my cooking, right? No, really. Just tell me. Tell me what's wrong with my tacos. I was just sick. My dog is missing. I, I'm just not hungry. And you'll feel better once you've eaten something. I'll just pick something up later. So it is about my tacos. No, no, it's not really. No, you'd rather just pick up a meal on your way home instead of eating the home-cooked tacos that are right in front of you. It has nothing to do with my cooking. I promise. I'm just trying to help. Don't worry about helping me. I, I just really should go. Of course. The one time you come for Taco Tuesday, you won't even take a bite. It's not the tacos. It's me? No. So why aren't you eating? Just tell me. It's my dog. What difference does it make? It's Taco Tuesday.